Good evening. This is Chris Malone, Superintendent of Schools, and I want to welcome all of you to the 2021 Tewksbury Memorial High School Scholarship Night. Although we have begun the process of returning to a more normal school experience, we thought it important to ensure we honor the community members who provide these much appreciated scholarships and awards the opportunity to participate in this traditional ceremony. Unfortunately, the impact of this pandemic makes this impossible to do in person at this time, but we hope to have everyone here in person next year. It is such an honor for me as superintendent to recognize these outstanding Tewksbury Memorial High School students in their broad level of excellence, along with the corresponding community members who have donated such significant resources to ensure their continued educational success. Tonight, we have 112 students receiving awards and or scholarships, totaling up to $125,000. This is a significant testament to their hard work, the support of their parents, and the impact of the teachers and staff members from Tewksbury Public Schools. It is also a testament to the community and the value it places on education along with the dedicated and generous contributions of our scholarship sponsors. On behalf of all those students receiving awards tonight, I thank you all for being part of this ceremony and for the impact a night like this has on the future of those being honored. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dennis Vecchi. I'm a 1981 graduate of Tewksbury High School and a 1985 graduate of Harvard College. Sorry I could not be there in person to present this award but I hope this finds you all safe and healthy as we emerge from the pandemic. Started in 1910 with just a handful of books presented in New England, the Harvard Book Prize is now presented to over 2,000 students worldwide by local Harvard alumni clubs. The Harvard Prize books are awarded to outstanding students in the next to graduating high school class who display excellence in scholarship and high character, combined with achievement in other fields. The winners of this award, through their intelligence and variety of achievement, exemplify Harvard's commitment to excellence. It's with great pleasure that I present this award on behalf of the Harvard Club of the Merrimack Valley and our sponsor, Enterprise Bank, to this year's recipient, Angelina Georgiakopoulos. Congratulations, Angelina, and I look forward to meeting you at our reception for area award winners this fall. Best of luck with your senior year and the next chapter of your journey. I look forward to meeting you in the fall and to encourage you to apply to Harvard next year. Be well. My name is Tina Sheehan, and I am honored to present this year's Rensselaer Medal. Each year, our high school has the opportunity to nominate a student for this award. It is given to a junior student that has displayed outstanding academic achievement in mathematics and science. The Rensselaer Medal is a merit scholarship with a value of $30,000 per year and is guaranteed for four years for each medalist who is accepted and enrolls at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. This year's Rensselaer Medal is awarded to Alec Cranston. Hello, it is my pleasure to present the Anthony Romano Technology and Education Academic Excellence Award to Michaela Page. Congratulations, Michaela. Hello TMHS community. It is with great pleasure that I present to you this year's 2021 Art Award on behalf of the TMHS Art Department. Congratulations to Henry Pistana on receiving this award. Henry has proven himself to be an integral part of our department. He himself is uh, somebody who represents intuitiveness, creativity, and an exceptional curiosity for the technical processes of photography and sound. He is self-taught in the traditional and typically historical 4x5 view camera. He is also the go-to person for the theater soundboard. Again, it is with great pleasure that we nominate Henry Pistana. Thank you very much.
Good evening, I'm Mary Kelleher. I'm here to present the Business Award to the 2021 graduate who has excelled in the business courses that we offer here at the high school, from marketing to accounting to personal finance and AP Econ. Sam White, congratulations. You have done a wonderful job your four years here and we're all very proud of you. Good luck in all that you do. Hello, my name is Sanford Arias, computer teacher at TMHS. I would like to congratulate Brett Nekabasali on getting the Computer Technology Award. Brett was an outstanding student in my digital literacy and game design classes, and I was also his advisor on his senior project, where he designed and coded a video game. Brett, congratulations and good luck in the future. It is with great pleasure that I present the Academic Excellence Award for English to Haley Ferroa for all of her hard work and dedication throughout all of her years at TMHS. Thank you so much, Haley. Good evening. My name is Nicole Smallage, and I am here tonight to present the Child Care Award to a 2021 graduate who has excelled in all three child care courses taken here at TMHS. This year, the award goes to Abigail Hayes. Congrats, Abby. You've done an awesome job. You will be missed next year. Have a great time in college. Mwah. Bonjour, I'm Madame Ryan. It is my honor to give the Academic Excellence Award in French to Nabil Barkala. Chapeau et félicitations, Nabil. I'd like to announce that the award winner this year for the Latin Award is Cindy Lai. Congratulations, Cindy, you did a great job. Good evening, I am Senora Dudley, and it is my honor to present tonight the Spanish Excellence Award to a student who learns languages as a hobby, Ryan Rosenberg. The American Sign Language Award goes to Corey McKay. Congratulations, Corey. Good evening. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You have all pivoted, adapted, and persevered over the past year and a half to get to this point. I want to wish you all the very best of luck in all of your future endeavors, whether it be in the workforce, in the military, or continuing along to post-secondary education. Best of luck to you all. It is with great pride and honor that I get to award the 2021 Most Outstanding Student in Marketing to Brady Egan. Brady will be attending the University of Maryland in the fall. Congratulations, Brady, and best of luck. Hello, everyone. It is my privilege to present the Academic Excellence Award for Mathematics to Kanal Paul. Congratulations, Kanal. Good luck. Hello, my name is Miss Pellegrino and I am the music and theater teacher at Tewksbury Memorial High School. This year I have the honor of presenting the music department award to an outstanding member of the concert band. This student has been in band 
his entire time all the way back to the days at the Rhine. And he also is a member of the marching unit. The student is an outstanding leader and makes band fun for everyone involved. And I know he'll continue to have music in his life far beyond his years at Tewksbury Memorial High School. It is my honor to present this award to Ryan Edwards. Congratulations, Ryan. On behalf of the Tewksbury Memorial High School Science Department, I am pleased to announce this year's award goes to a student who has dedicated herself to excellence in science all four years of her TMHS career. She consistently demonstrated mastery of scientific principles and laboratory skills in AP Biology, AP Chemistry, and in AP Physics, earning an A in all three courses. It is my honor to present Abigail Varghese with the 2021 Award in Science. Congratulations. Good evening. This is Mr. Elwood, and I am the Social Studies Department Head here at TMHS. And tonight it is my privilege to give the Social Studies Award to a very deserving student, Mahir Pagul. Congratulations, Mahir, and good luck at Dartmouth. Great job. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Steve Kaspersak, and I am representing the Health and Wellness Department uh, to hand out this year's PE award. And we really couldn't think of a better person this year, uh, especially with everything that was going on. This individual was uh, just a spark in the virtual classroom when we were stuck doing that during PE, and certainly a spark when we were in person. Uh, just really embodied everything we wanted in a PE to student in terms of you know, stepping out of their comfort zone a little bit, trying new things, whether it wasn't their favorite activity or not, uh, but really tried to make the best of everything. And his, his attitude was infectious to all those around him. And he really just brightened up uh, the PE room for everybody. Uh, and as it was about, you know, teamwork and self-confidence and self-esteem and building each other up and he, he was just fantastic, and like I said earlier, he, he really put a smile on everybody's face. We're really proud, we're really honored uh, to have the ability to have taught this individual, uh, and we're really hoping, um, you know, he, he excels uh, throughout the rest of his, his life and, and career, and we're sure that he will because he has a great positive attitude all the time, um, and again, it is my privilege to award this year's PE award uh, to Evan Regan. Evan, congratulations, buddy. It's well-deserved. Thank you for making class a little bit better every day. We really appreciate it. Good luck moving forward, buddy. Hello, class of 2021. I'm Brenda Terrio Regan, your assistant superintendent, and I am very proud and honored to be here tonight to talk to you about the seal of biliteracy in the award you're about to receive. The Seal of Biliteracy is a national movement that started in 2012 in California to recognize high school students who could speak, listen, read, and write proficiently in one or more languages in addition to English. In Massachusetts, the Language Opportunity Coalition ran a pilot program for three years that culminated with Governor Charles Baker signing the Massachusetts Seal into law on November 22, 2017. This legislation is a strong statement that supports and further develops multilingualism in our state of Massachusetts. The seal of biliteracy places the focus on what the students can do with a second or even a third language. For English language learners, the seal rewards students who attain biliteracy in English and their native language. For our world language learners, the SEAL encourages students to pursue long-term language study and to develop proficiency rather than grades. The Tewksbury Memorial High School graduation requirement is two years of a world language. All the students being recognized here tonight have studied the language for four years, some completing an independent study as well. 
the seal of biliteracy provides nationally recognized evidence to colleges and universities that our students have attained this critical 21st century skill. Being biliterate can also advance your career as bilingual professionals are in high demand in the global workforce. I hope you feel the sense of confidence in this achievement that you so well deserve. I also hope you know how much we value your commitment towards this achievement and how proud we are of all of you. We know that this not only involves learning another language, but also learning to appreciate people and cultures from other countries and learning how to communicate effectively with people from all over the world. Thank you for those efforts and for achieving the Seal of Biliteracy designation tonight and congratulations to you. I'm Senora Dudley from the World Language Department. And I'm Karen Hodson from the English Language Education Department. The following students have achieved functional proficiency with the languages and are awarded the Biliteracy Achievement Award from the Language Opportunity Coalition for French and English. Trinity Gustin, Lovens La Musnery, for Portuguese, excuse me, for Portuguese and English, Talita Medeiros. For German and English, Caitlin McDonald. For Spanish and English, Alisa Boudreau, Cesar Barboa, Vanessa Flynn, Michelle Hinkle, and Gabriela Schubert Raimundo. In order to receive the mass state sale, a student must score in the intermediate high level of proficiency. This year's recipients are, for French and English, Nabil Barlaca, for Portuguese and English, Maria da Silva, Gabriela Schubert Romando. For Spanish and English, Haley Arsenal, Maria da Silva, Iris Diaz Argila, Juliana Fisher, Nicholas Johnston, Caitlin McDonald, Matthew Martins, Elias Milky, Hugo Melo dos Santos, Connor Mooneyham, Derek Monroe, Shane O'Neill, Ryan Rosenberg, Sabtari Sabir, and Aaron Sands. In order to receive the state sale with distinction, a student must score in the advanced level of proficiency. This year's recipients are, for Portuguese and English, Hugo Melo dos Santos. For Marathi and English, Mihir Bagul. For Spanish and English, Kunal Pau. Congratulations to all. Congratulations. Hello again, this is Superintendent Chris Malone, and it is my sincere pleasure to present the class of 2021 Top Scholar Award to three deserving students in recognition of their outstanding academic achievements while students at Tewksbury Memorial High School. The 2021 Top Scholar Award winners are Abigail Varghese, Kunal Pal, and Mahir Bagul. Congratulations to all three students along with your families. We are all very proud of you. Thank you. Hello, class of 2021. I'm proud to present the Lawrence L. Day Memorial Scholarship. Annually, this scholarship is awarded to a student who stands out as a contributing member of the TMHS school community. This year's winner certainly does that with his commitment to his friends, to his school, to the TMHS administrative team, and in helping others through tutoring. He's been an asset to the class of 2021. This scholarship goes to Mahir Bagul. Congratulations, Mahir. I'm Christine McGrath, 
I am pleased to present the Performing Arts Scholarship to Cesar Barboa, who has been a great contributor to the Drama Club at TMHS, has a grade point average that has placed him on both the honor roll and the principals list, and he has been an equity conference leader. Cesar, my sincere best wishes for continued success in the future. Congratulations. Hi, my name is David Harn, and it is my pleasure to present the Tewksbury Redmond Volleyball Booster Scholarship to Amanda Marrera and Gabriela Schubert Ramundo. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. On behalf of the Tewksbury Teachers Association, we would like to give scholarships to the following students Michaela Page, Mackenzie Dawson, Megan Marshall and Connor Moynihan. We had a lot of great applicants and you should be proud of yourself. Congratulations again, class of 2021. It is my pleasure to present the Tewksbury Wilmington Lodge of Elks 2070 scholarship to Evan Sands and Ryan Zakula. Congratulations. Hi, we're the Contalonuses. We're here to give out the Shane Contalonus Memorial uh, Scholarship. The following of people have received it. Jennifer Asselin, Kyle Dorigo, Michael Duggan, Sean Fahey, Kali Lynn Gonzalez, Abigail Hayes, Michael Kelly, Daniel Lightfoot, Erin McIntyre, Kalu Alu, Ariana Peron, Alexis Palomino, and Emily Walker. All scholarships will be mailed to you. Congratulations and best of luck. Good evening. My name is Michelle Gasson and I am representing the Holt and Bugby Foundation. This year marks our 16th year participating in the TMHS scholarship ceremony. We're always very happy to do so. Although again this year, we're having a virtual ceremony, everybody here tonight is supporting the graduating class of Tewksbury Memorial High School. We will be giving out four scholarships this evening, each in the amount of $2,500. Our 2021 recipients are Haley Farella, Carly Lynn Gonzalez, Lovins Lamusnery, and Ryan Zakular. Congratulations to all four of you students and good luck to you in the fall. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, my name is Maria Hamilton and I'm here with my sons, Jim Hamilton, Hello. Tooks Ferry High class of 2003 and Brian Hamilton over here, Tooks Ferry High class of 2004. And we're here to present the very first of many years to come, the James Hamilton Sportsmanship Scholarship. Uh, we're doing this scholarship in memory of our husband and their dad who passed away uh, last year. And with the generous donations of all our loving family and friends, we're able to present this in his honor. Jim was very involved in the town while the boys were growing up, coaching all uh, the sports with them, football, baseball, basketball. And we just thought this was the um, best way to, to honor him and keep his memory. Um, so for the first year, we have two. $500 scholarships going out to some graduating seniors in the class. The first one is for Kyle Dorigo, $500 scholarship. Thank you so much, Kyle. 
for applying and uh, well deserved for you. And then our second one is going to Jennifer Asselin. Congratulations, Jennifer, $500 scholarship. So thank you again for applying in. And um, we had so many good, good, good applicants and great essays. And we're just very happy to do this. And we will see you next year. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations. everybody. Congratulations to Tuxford Memorial High School Class of 2021. It is an honor to return and to participate in the 2021 virtual Tuxford Memorial High School Scholarships Award Program. You students give us lasting hope for the future. And having read all the wonderful scholarship application and essay, we look forward to be in good hands. The Warren R. Carey Memorial Scholarship was created by Warren's eight children because they were proud of their father, his dedication to his hometown, and his passion for education. Warren was a resident of Tewksbury for 75 years. He was our town treasurer, town historian, and chairman of the Historical Commission and of Trust Fund Commissioner for the town. The Warren R. Carey Memorial Scholarship was created to provide for a deserving Tewksbury Memorial High School senior looking to continue their education at an accredited post secondary program. The foundation seeks to help support a student with an interest in civic involvement and community engagement. This year, the foundation will again be awarding two $1,000 scholarships. Receiving a scholarship is a cheerful and meaningful occasion for the recipients and for their families, who are so proud of their child's accomplishments. We hope this helps you on your road ahead. It is my pleasure to present our 2021 scholarship to Abigail A. Hayes for her anticipated field of study in biology. Abigail's Academic Excellence. She was the recipient of the Academic Excellence Medal, summa cum laude, member of the National Honor Society, entered on the senior honor roll list, and her involvement in school and community activities. This makes Abigail an ideal recipient for the 2021 Warren R. Carey Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Abigail. It is my pleasure to present our other scholarship to Elizabeth M. Miller for her anticipated field of study. She's undecided on political science, public policy, psychology. Elizabeth's academic record, recipient of the Academic Excellent Medal, summa cum laude, member of the National Honor Society, entered onto the senior honor roll list, intern for State Representative Nugent. Her mission trip to Texas to aid in the hurricane disasters, in her involvement in school and community activities, make her a deserving recipient for the 2021 Warren R. Carey Memorial Scholarship. Elizabeth, best wishes to you with your future challenges. I would like to thank all those who helped make the Warren R. Carey Memorial Scholarship with another successful year. 
and we look forward to seeing you all next year. Stay safe and have a great year. Hello, my name is Brian Darden, and I'm representing the Kay Aspel Current Scholarship Fund. Kay graduated from Tuxbury Memorial High School in 1953 and is a member of the school's Athletic Hall of Fame. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the efforts of Pat Whitehouse and the guidance department, who year after year supplies our committee with an amazing group of Tuxbury High student athletes who apply for the scholarship. This year's recipient of the scholarship is a student who we know Kay would approve of. She's hardworking, kind, and she's headed to Salem State to major in early childhood education. Congratulations, Christina Capacetti. We wish you the best of luck. Hello everyone. On behalf of the board members of the TMHS Theater Company, I'm honored to announce the scholarship awards to the following class of 2021 recipients. You are all very talented individuals and we are very proud of the inclusive environment that you have practiced and maintained throughout the years within this company. We wish you the best in all of your future endeavors. The recipients are Cesar Baboa, Thomas Bishop, Kara Hodges, Alexandra Lightfield, Ian Mangan, Elizabeth Miller, Henry Pastana, Madison Pierce, Meredith Whalen. Congratulations to you all. Hi everyone, congratulations class of 2021. It is my pleasure tonight to introduce the winner of the Luella F. Doing Alumni Award and it is Jessica Satterfield. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Kayla Schutte, school counselor at the high school, here to present the William J. De Gregorio Memorial Scholarship. The William J. De Gregorio Memorial Scholarship is presented in memory of former principal and mentor, Bill De Gregorio, fondly remembered as Mr. D. Mr. D provided leadership for 25 plus years to the students who walked the hallways of his second home, Tuxbury Memorial High School. His passion for learning and education was reflected in the devotion he had for all those students he had the pleasure of guiding through their high school years. He had a particular fondness for students who shared his love and appreciation for drama and arts. He looked forward every year to the student art show and the annual drama club production. He would be proud and pleased to be able to provide this scholarship to an art student. The 2021 recipient of the William J. De Gregorio Memorial Scholarship is Isabella Alfano. Congratulations, Isabella. Hi, my name is Rich Russo, and I'm the president of Tuxbury Youth Football. First and foremost, we want to extend our well wishes to the class of 2021. I know this has been an unorthodox school year to say the least, but this class has risen above it and has learned to face adversity and challenges that are going to set you up for life after high school and eventually the real world. With that being said, it's my honor as a fellow classmate of Tuxbury Memorial High School from the class of 1998 to present several scholarships to Tuxbury Youth Football and Share alum, totaling $4,250. We had many applicants and the board felt very strongly that these five participants were the most deserving based on their time in the program, their volunteer time to the program, their achievements in academia, <clears throat> and their involvement in our community. 
receiving merit scholarships in the amount of $500 each are Shane O'Neill and Ben Svensson. Receiving the Billy Bird Memorial Scholarship Award in the amount of $750, this scholarship goes to Michael Duggan. Our two final scholarships are very special and they are TYF's highest scholarships awarded. One is new this year and is named the Frank Ferrelli Scholarship Award. Named after a man who just this year retired from our program after giving 40 years of dedication and service to our football players, cheerleaders, and the TYF program. And the second is coined our Memorial Scholarship Award. Our Frank Ferrelli Scholarship recipient in the amount of $1,000 goes to a student who not only played in our program, but has given his time and service after he graduated from our program along with his entire family. This award goes to Sean Fahey. Our, our Memorial Scholarship Award and our highest honor for the evening and is awarded for $1,500 goes to a student who is a true leader both on and off the football field. This scholarship goes to Kyle DeRigo. Congratulations to all of our recipients. You will receive letters in the mail with further information. This concludes Tuxbury Youth Football and Cheer scholarship presentation. Good luck to all of our graduating students as they prepare to embark in the next chapter in their lives. Good evening. My name is Karen LeClaire, a former teacher at the Heathbrook School, where I had the pleasure of meeting Elaine Fisk, a teacher who passed away in July of 2020. We were friends for over 50 years. Elaine had a zest for life and deep devotion for teaching at the Heathbrook for 35 years as a forward thinker. A firm but friendly teacher who never had children of her own, but put love devotion, and long hours into her work. The sense of community, equality, and inclusiveness was evident in Mrs. Fisk's classroom and in the outings she organized for staff. Elaine never really retired in 2004, but rather returned to volunteer at the Heathbrook School. She was a humble person and just wanted to make a small difference in children our future. Elaine Fisk's legacy of hard work, kindness, unity, and her forward thinking about equality and inclusion are important in our world today. I wish to thank the many donors for their kindness and generosity in honoring Elaine. The loving family, friends, and colleagues honoring the legacy of Elaine Fisk are the proud sponsors of seven scholarships to graduates, the plan to attend a four-year accredited college and major in education. Some also engage in the arts as Elaine did herself. The recipients of the Elaine Fisk Memorial Scholarship are Kira Hodges, Thalita Medeiros, Ellen McIntyre, Christina Capacetti, Hannah Grace, Corey McKay, and Ryan Rometta. Congratulations for all of your fine achievement. I enjoyed reading the course study that you're taking in preparation of being a future teacher. We wish you all the best and all of you the most successful future. Thank you. Congratulations to all the graduating seniors. This is the end of an amazing part of your journey, but just the beginning of another, so we encourage you all to greet it with arms wide open. Every year, the TMHS Soccer Boosters grants graduating seniors with scholarships for their dedication and commitment to the high school soccer program. While you've all certainly persevered this year, your soccer journeys likely stretch much farther back than high school, including the many hours, days, years to become your best and to contribute to something bigger than just yourselves. Over those years, you've had many wins, some losses, made amazing friends, 
Regardless of the outcomes, they were forged and shared experiences which will be taken with you for the rest of your lives. Throughout your soccer careers, you made a commitment to your friends, your family, your teammates, your town, your school, but most importantly, you made a commitment to yourselves to always put your best foot forward, give maximum effort, and to bring your best each and every single practice, game, and any other events supported by you and your teammates. Thank you for representing your community as Tewksbury Tough and Tewksbury Proud. On behalf of all your prior coaches, your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, everyone, thank you for letting us be part of watching you grow into the amazing young adults you've become. So on behalf of the TMHS Soccer Boosters, we'd like to award the following players with TMHS Soccer Boosters Scholarships. Congratulations again to all of you, and best of luck as you move forward on the rest of your journey. I'm Jen Moynihan, and I represent the Tewksbury Education Foundation. I'm so happy to be here tonight to congratulate the entire class of 2021 on your upcoming graduation. You're a class that has shown such great resilience, hard work, and flexibility as you got through your senior year during a very difficult time, so congratulations. The TEF is very proud and honored to be able to offer two scholarships to members of the class of 2021. The seniors that we will be honoring tonight are Zachary Connolly and Kalu Olu. Best wishes to both Zachary and Kalu and the entire class of 2021. Hi, class of 2021. My name is Trisha Tarantino and I'm here from the Officer Ronald Tarantino Junior Charitable Fund. I'm going to be offering two scholarships to high school seniors today, but before we begin, I'd like to recognize all of our administrators, our educators, our school staff making lunches, and those keeping our grounds um, up and running while we're not there. I wanted to tell you a little bit about our charity uh, before I offer those scholarships. The mission of the Officer Ronald Tarantino Jr. Charitable Fund is to lead by example in acts of kindness, acts of generosity, and service to our community. Through our charity, we offer financial relief and hands-on service to families experiencing loss, illness, or tragic events, including families of first responders and the military. We grant scholarships to graduating high school seniors, pursuing secondary education and community service oriented careers. We sponsor programs within local school systems and promote, that promote kindness in the hope to put an end to bullying and school violence by involving students in positive outlets and a connection to their community. And we provide financial donations to those most heavily hit by the COVID crisis, including food pantries, elder services, and youth and family services. 
And now I'd like to present the Officer Ronald Tarantino Jr. Memorial Scholarship to Hannah Grace and Ariana Perron. Congratulations. We would like to wish the whole class of 2021 best in your future endeavors. And thank you to those of you who are going into service for our country. Health and wellness to you all. And this year we had the wonderful task of choosing five lucky recipients for the 2021 scholarships. Uh, and congratulations to all the seniors that were selected and definitely congratulations to all the seniors uh, moving forward in your future endeavors. Um, the lucky recipients are, in no particular order, Nicole Joe, Madison Pierce, Alexis Palomino, Alex Emily Cashel, and Mackenzie Dawson. Congratulations to everyone. Yay. Yay. Hi everyone, I'm Kayla Schutte, school counselor at the high school. Congratulations to the class of 2021 and your families. It is my pleasure to present the George Timmy Ernest Memorial Scholarship. Mr. Ernest devoted much of his life to the youth of Tewksbury through sports. This scholarship continues to support the youth of Tewksbury he so loved. The scholarships are made possible by a fund started 27 years ago by dear friends of Mr. Ernest. This year, there are four $1,000 scholarships that are being awarded to graduating seniors of the varsity hockey teams. The recipients are John Beatrice, Daniel Kuzmal, Anthony Pecci, and Alexis Raymond. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to present the Lowell Five Bank Academic Scholarship to Abigail Vigazi. Congratulations. This is Bob Hinkle representing the TMHS Field Hockey Boosters. The boosters are extremely happy to be able to offer 12 scholarships to graduating senior girls who participated in the field hockey program over the years. As we all know, it has been a challenging last 14 months, but the girls were able to make the best of an unusual season. With that, I would like to announce the 12 girls who will be receiving scholarships in no particular order. Allison Baker, Megan Marshall, Barry Lantum, Mackenzie Dawson, Brooke Woodman, Michelle Hinkle, Emma Fleming, Sub Subtari Sabir, Ifong Fala, Alexis Raymond, Sierra Souza, and Jamie Burns. Thanks to everyone who has helped raise money or donated money to the TMHS Field Hockey Boosters, and good luck in the future to all graduating seniors. Hello and congratulations to the class of 2021. On behalf of the Tewksbury Methuen Girls Hockey Boosters, I am pleased to announce this year's scholarship recipients. Alexis Raymond, Madison Robillard, and Antoria Sweeney. Congratulations, ladies. We wish you all the best in your future. On behalf of the Tewksbury Music Association, I would like to congratulate the Class of 2021 scholarship recipients. The event of the past year has affected part of your junior year of high school, as well as your entire senior year. However, through it all, you have persevered and will become stronger adults. It has been an honor and privilege watching you perform different venues consisting of the TMHS Marching Unit, Color Guard, concert band and chorus. You have performed in the Tewksbury Memorial Day Parade, holiday concerts, and even had the opportunity to perform at Gillette Stadium. You are an incredibly talented group of young adults. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. 
the TMA proudly awards the following scholarships. The TMA Music Major Scholarship, Meredith Whalen. The TMA Loyalty Scholarship, Ryan Edwards. Ian Mangan. Katia Mello. Congratulations to all. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. It is my pleasure to present the Tewksbury Rotary Club Scholarship to Alyssa Bedro, Brenna Cassidy, Kali Gonzalez, and Dominic Voloway. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to present the John F. Ryan School PAC Scholarship to Ariana Dawson. Congratulations. It is with pleasure that I present the Linda Peters Memorial Scholarship to Alexis Palomino. Good evening, my name is Kenan Daniel. I'm one of the school counselors here at Team HS, and it is my pleasure this evening to announce the recipients of the Tewksbury Country Club Charitable Foundation Scholarship. The recipients this year, are Nabil Barkala and Alyssa Marshalletta. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Janelle reporting live from Wamas and Leans. I'm here with Wooly where he has a big announcement. He's gonna announce this year's scholarship recipients. Wooly, do you have the list of the names? Can you find it? Oh boy, it doesn't look like he has a list. You know where it is? All right, you go get the list. He'll be right back. While he's going to find the list, we have some of Wooly's friends. They're local around here. Mario, come on in, come say hi. All right, Mario, thanks for coming. Do you have anything to say to this year's scholarship recipients? It's me, Mario. What was that? It's me, Mario. Awesome, well, thanks for coming. That's, that's great advice. All right, come on. How about you, Luigi? Come on in. Thanks for coming today. Uh, do you have anything to say to this year's scholarship recipients? I'm a Luigi, number one. I think so, too. Oh, wait. I'm just getting where we've located Wooly. We'll be right back. And we're back. We have located Wooly. He has found the list. Barry Lantham and Michael Cronin, you are this year's scholarship recipients. Congratulations. This is Janelle reporting live from Wamasset Lanes. Back to you. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Kasperzak and I am here once again to uh, award for the first time the Murphy Scholarship. Uh, this is the 12th year the Murphy Scholarship has been granted to outgoing seniors here at Tewksbury Memorial High School um, and has some close personal ties to myself so I'm very honored uh, that the family uh, asked me to participate and make the video to present the award this year. Um, Uncle Murph to me, Auntie Mary Ann Murph to me, uh, we're very special people. Uh, they loved everything Tewksbury, especially athletics. Uh, they just, um, you, you don't find two, uh, you know, two better people than them. And, and they really embodied everything that, you know, we want here in Tewksbury. And uh, just great examples of, of what it means to be 
in it for the community, in it for the better of somebody else, and always trying to make something uh, out of a maybe not the perfect situation, but just two great people. Um, if you had the uh, pleasure of ever meeting them, I don't need to explain to you, but if you haven't, just understand that uh, Jerry Murphy and Mary Ann Murphy were um, just just pillars in the Tewksbury community. And it's I'm very honored again to uh, deliver this scholarship. It means a lot to myself, to the rest of my family. And I think this year's uh, recipients are the perfect candidates uh, uh, to carry on uh, the scholarship's name. Uh, we are awarding two scholarships this year in the amount of $500 uh, to uh, Michael Duggan and Madison Pierce. Um, congratulations to both of you. Uh, we know you're gonna go on and make our school proud, our community proud, and more importantly, your family's proud. Um, and you know, maybe it was you know, an application to fill out for a scholarship, uh, but no to the Murphy family, uh, to the extension of my family and everybody else. Um, it means a lot more and you guys are both very deserving of this scholarship. Um, we appreciate you taking the time to fill it out and go through the process. Good luck next year guys and good luck everyone else. Thank you. Hello Tewksbury High School class of 2021. My name is Mark Crabbin. I'm the president of the Tewksbury Wilmington Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations on your graduation and to everything that you will accomplish. We salute you for your academic achievement and applaud you for your character through this unprecedented time. You no doubt have proven that you are strong, resilient, adaptable, and possess the ability to overcome any obstacles that get in your way. So to the class of 2021, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. I have no doubt that you will be great leaders in the future and you will absolutely succeed. You have made us all so very proud. Unfortunately, I can't be there in person to present these scholarships, but it's my honor to present two Chambers of Commerce scholarships. One goes to John Beatrice and the other one goes to Kyle DeRigo. Congratulations to John and Kyle and everybody have a wonderful night. Thank you. Hi everyone, Kayla Schutte, school counselor at the high school, here to present the Tewksbury Girls Softball League Scholarship. Tewksbury Girls Softball League Scholarship is presented to three seniors this year for their continued participation in the Girls Softball League. First student is Brianna Iandoli. Brianna has been a TGSL member since the age of six. She's played in the Town Rec, Middle Essex League, and Redmond Travel Softball for over a decade. She's a four-year starter of the TMHS softball team and is a captain of the 2021 team. Congratulations, Brianna. The second recipient is Ashley Giordano. Ashley has been a TGSL member since the age of six. She's played in the Town Rec, Middle Essex League, and Redmond Travel Softball for over a decade and is now a captain of the TMHS softball team. Congratulations, Ashley. Third recipient is Madison Pierce who's participated in many years of town and Middle Essex leagues. Congratulations, Madison. On behalf of the Tewksbury Memorial High School PAC, we would like to congratulate the class of 2021 and all of your accomplishments. We know you're gonna do great things in the future. Here are the 10 seniors who are recipients of the Tewksbury Memorial High School PAC scholarships. Christina Capuchetti, Felicia Delilio, Michelle Hinkle, Caitlin Oates, Anthony Pecci, Hugo Melo Dos Santos, Saptari Sabir, Aaron Sands, Julia Stenizi and Samuel White. Good luck to all the seniors in your future. On behalf of the Tewksbury Track Boosters, I would like to present the Dennis McGadden Memorial Cross Country and Track Scholarship to the following student athletes. Isabel Carlton, Zach Connolly, Abby Hansberry, Lovins Lamusnery, Joshua Linehan, Michaela Page, and Aaron Sands. 
Congratulations, class of 2021. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle McDonald, and I'm here to present the Kevin J. O'Brien Memorial Scholarship to two very deserving students this year. I am here with my little girl, Monkey, and she's going to help me out this year. Um, hope you don't mind. Nope, Monkey. Uh, we have been giving out scholarships for over 30 years now. Uh, we run um, some tournaments every year. Uh, some of Kevin's closest friends run a golf tournament each and every year. Uh, we so appreciate them for doing so and keeping my brother Kevin's memory alive. Um, to Lib, Murph, Todd, Little Obe, love you so much. Thank you guys for keeping us with, keeping Kevin with us all these years. You'll never know what it means to us. So thank you. All right, Monkey says no more crying, and we're off to the first recipient of the Kevin J. Memorial Scholarship, and that goes to Carly Gonzalez. Yay! Yay, Carly! Congrats! And for the second one, I think it's appropriate for Monkey to do this for me. You ready, Monk? You ready? All right, she's going to go in the dressing room real quick, and she'll be right back to present the second one. Okay? Hold on. Hi, everybody. It's me, Monkey. My mom thought that I should give this next award because this two-legged person really, really, really loves us four-legged persons. So I hope I can do this okay because I'm really, really nervous. I've never done this before. I hope I'm dressed okay for the occasion. All right. So, here goes. The second recipient of the KJO Memorial Scholarship goes to... Sierra Flight! Yay, Sierra! Congratulations! You did it! So proud of you! Congratulations, everyone! Have a great night! Bye! Hi, my name is Lorraine Finnegan. I'm an architect at SMMA. The SMMA Fund Scholarship Program reflects our commitments to the communities in which we serve and demonstrates our belief in higher education. Through it, we support students who continue on to pursue a career in the built environment. Having personally worked on Tewksbury High School, I'm delighted tonight to say Dominic Valway is receiving SMMA's $2,000 award as he continues to pursue a career through civil engineering at UMass Amherst. Congratulations, Dominic. Hello, my name is Tony Romano, and I'm here to present the Anthony J. Romano Scholarship in honor of my father. My father was from the city of Springfield. He graduated from Fitchburg State College where he led it in soccer, basketball, baseball, and of course, managed to be president of his fraternity. But his most important accomplishment there was meeting my mother, Nancy. Upon graduation, in an effort to move closer to my mother's hometown of Chelmsford, he landed a teaching job at Tewksbury Memorial High School. He taught industrial arts, drafting, and believe it or not, even driver's ed. He went on to become assistant principal and eventually principal. He was also the basketball coach for many years and even had a brief stint as field hockey coach to ensure they had a team. For over 38 years, Tewksbury Memorial High School was his home and he could not have been more proud of that. But that wasn't enough for him. Along the way, he managed to do a few more things. He was the head basketball coach at UMass Lowell. For over 20 years, he was the program director at the legendary Red Arbach Basketball School and Celtic Rookie Camp. He was a highly accomplished high school basketball official and spent several more years as the assistant principal at Lowell Catholic High School. He ended his career serving as the assistant executive director of the MIAA, Tri being his son and following that act. He was very proud of being selected to the Tewksbury Memorial High School Athletic Hall of Fame. 
He was also equally proud to have his 1972-73 and 73-74 basketball teams inducted as well, arguably the greatest teams in school history. Many of his players became lifelong friends of not only him, but our family. He would be quite humbled your basketball court is named in his honor. Attention was something he never desired. As a proud graduate myself, I had the great pleasure to attend school with my father as my principal. It meant I could never be late, and most importantly, not spill his coffee on the drive-in. Keep in mind, back in those days, there were no travel mugs. But what I remember most is how many people stopped me along the way of my life to tell me a story how my father changed theirs. I am truly honored to have shared him with so many students of this great school. He lost a courageous battle with cancer in October of 2014, but his spirit lives every day in his life's greatest joys, his grandchildren, Alexis, Matthew, Ryan, Ricky, and Kaylee, and Dylan and Avery. My father loved the term student athlete. It reflected everything that was important to him. It is with great pride that tonight's recipient endears those words. The 2021 Anthony J. Romano scholarship winner is Lexi Palomino. Lexi graduated in the top 5% of this year's class. If that's not enough, she was also class president and captain of her soccer, lacrosse, and basketball teams. Congrats, Lexi. Hi, I'm Katie Chandler. And I'm Mary Elward. And we'd like to wish the class of 2021 a huge congratulations. This year, we are here to present the Robert V. Horgan Senior Memorial Scholarship in honor of our father, who was a teacher in the Tewksbury School System for over 30 years. He was a reading specialist and had a huge impact on all the students that he taught, and everybody loved him. This year, it's the 21st annual um, memorial given in his name, and it's usually given to a student going into education or who is the son or daughter of a teacher. So this year, the Horgan family reviewed the applicants and we've decided to give this year's award to um, the son of a teacher, a very special teacher that we know. And also um, the recipient is someone that we've known since he was a baby. My family has watched him grow into the great young man that he is today. I'm happy to announce that the recipient is Will McKay. Congratulations, Will. We're really proud of you. And on behalf of the Horgan family, we wish you all the best. Congratulations, Will. Best of luck. Hello, everyone, and congratulations to the TMHS class of 2021. Tuxbury Youth Soccer is proud to announce 14 scholarships being awarded to this year's graduates. The award winners are Nabil Barcala, Thomas Branchout, Christina Capacetti, Brenna Cassidy, Mackenzie Dawson, Brady Egan, Alexandra Fowler, Allison Indigaro, Robert Manson, Aaron McIntyre, Connor Moynihan, Michaela Page, Lexi Palomino, and Dominic Valway. Congratulations, everyone. Hello, everybody. My name is Steve Kaspersak, and I'm here to award scholarships from the Tewksbury Redmond Wrestling Club. Uh, before I award the, uh, the scholarships, I just want to take a quick second and thank everybody in the community that comes out and supports us in all of our fundraisers that really makes this possible. Uh, the Redmond Wrestling Club is, is really just a name and kind of does the legwork as far as, you know, collecting some of the funds and, and finding out our deserving uh, winners. But it's really the town of Tewksbury and the people uh, that support our wrestling program that make this all possible. So big tip of the cap to those people who have helped us over the years and uh, we're hopeful will continue to support us. Uh, we couldn't do it without them. Um, you know, the Redmond Wrestling Club is is really just a handful of, of guys, uh, many of which uh, no longer have kids in the program or coach in the program, uh, but just feel strongly in, in, in the impact that uh, wrestling and the sport has on our kids and our community. So 
Um, it is with uh, great pleasure to award three scholarships this year for $500 uh, to three on outgoing seniors. Uh, first one, uh, couldn't think of anybody more fitting over the last few years. Um, nobody's done more than this kid, both in, in the classroom and on the mat. Uh, Danny Lightfoot, who is going to continue his career uh, educationally and wrestling wise at NYU. Uh, Adam Donovan, uh, who's going to uh, possibly attend Fitchburg State, and we know he's going to do great things. And Colin Bozick, um, who's also looking at Fitchburg State. They've been great seniors for us, been great leaders for us, and, and we're very happy to give them all a $500 scholarship. Uh, congrats to the three award winners this year. Uh, we look forward to uh, doing it again next year. Thanks, everybody. Good evening. My name is Brian Illwood and I'm the head football coach at TMHS and I'm honored tonight to represent the Redmond Football Club, which is our booster club that was established in 1974. Since that time, the Redmond Football Club has given scholarship to deserving graduating senior student athletes. Tonight, we're excited to be able to give eight scholarships, totaling an amount of $15,000. Our first scholarship is the Redmond Football Club James E. Brooks Memorial Scholarship. James E. Brooks was the first Redmond Club president. He's the namesake of our old field house and is still the namesake of our new facility uh, that will be connected to the new athletic complex uh, by the center school. Uh, the first, uh, I have two scholarships uh, under James E. Brooks and this year, uh, both in the amount of $1,000. Uh, the first one is to Elias Melky, and the second one is going to go to Sean Kaiser. Congratulations, guys. The second scholarship that we have is the Redmond Football Club Benefactor Scholarship, and this gives us an opportunity uh, to recognize and thank uh, outstanding supporters of our organization. And this year we'd like to uh, especially recognize uh, DEI and Schlottaya for their continued support. Tonight, I've, uh, the Redmond Football Club Benefactor Scholarship uh, will go to uh, Mikey Kelly. Congratulations, Mikey. Right. Uh, the next scholarship is the Redmond Football Club Memorial Scholarship, and we have two of these in the amount of $2,000. Um, each year, we try to recognize uh, longtime supporters who have recently passed, and this year, uh, we have one scholarship, a memorial scholarship, uh, in memory of Eugene, Mousy Roo, uh, and that scholarship will go to Ryan Rometta. Congratulations, Ryan. Uh, the second memorial scholarship is in memory of Barbara Haig, and that scholarship will go to Kalu Alu. Congratulations, Kalu. Our next scholarship is the Redmond Football Club Phil French Scholarship in the amount of $2,000. And Phil French was a longtime Redmond Football Club president. He really made, helped make the Redman Football Club, what it is today. Um, and this year, the Phil French Scholarship will go to Kyle Dorigo. Congratulations, Kyle. Our next scholarship is the Redman Football Club Ed Dick Scholarship, and that is in the amount of $3,000. And Ed Dick was a longtime supporter of the Redman Football Club, uh, but also any, anything to do with anything in Tewksbury High School. Uh, our, our turf field here at the high school is, is, is named in his honor. And this year, uh, the scholarship for the uh, Ed Dick scholarship is going to go to Will McKay. Congratulations, Will. And our last scholarship, finally, is the Redmond Football Club Bob Aylwood scholarship. Uh, Bob Aylwood, my dad, uh, was a longtime coach here, uh, football coach and teacher at TMHS. Uh, and a continued supporter of the Redmond Football Club. And this year, the Redmond Football Club Bob Aylwood Scholarship will go to Michael Duggan. Congratulations, Michael. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, congratulations to all you graduating seniors. You've been through a lot this year. Um, you're you're going to do great things in the future. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Hi everyone, 
On behalf of the girls' basketball program, I'd like to congratulate all the recipients of scholarships this year. The girls' basketball program and the girls' basketball boosters is excited to award our four seniors with scholarships this year. Thank you, ladies, for everything you've done for our program, for our school, and for the community of Tewksbury. You are amazing student athletes and incredible young ladies. This year's recipients of our scholarships are Mary Kay Callanan, Alyssa Marchaletta, Erin McIntyre, Lexi Palomino. Thank you, ladies, and best of luck to you. To congratulate the following seniors who are recipients of the TMHS Hockey Boosters Scholarship. Chase Peralt. Danny Kuzma. Asa DeRoach. Will O'Keefe. Johnny Beatrice. And Anthony Pecci. Congratulations, boys, and congratulations to the class of 2021. Hi, my name is Kayla Salen. I'm the advisor of the TMHS dance team. On behalf of the team, we'd like to say congratulations to all of the 2021 graduating seniors. The Dance Team Booster Club would like to award scholarships tonight to our five graduating seniors. Our captains, Ariana Perron and Jenny Aslin, and our graduating seniors, Hannah Grace, Vanessa Flynn, and Sarah Draper. We are so proud of you. We're wishing you all the best for your future. Congratulations. Good evening, class of 2021. Um, here we are doing another Zoom recording. I really thought we would be in the auditorium by now, wishing everyone well wishes for this year's graduates. My name is Erin Aslin, and I will be presenting the um, Tuxbury Varsity Cheer Boosters Scholarships. Um, this year we have two recipients only. Um, the first recipient I have known pretty much her entire life. She's like another daughter to me. Um, she has blossomed into a beautiful young woman, smart. She just received a uh, magna cum laude excellence award today, along with National Honor Society recognition. I am very proud to know her and to be handing her this cheer scholarship this year. She's one of our fall captains and it's Ariana Perron. Welcome Ari. Yay, yay. <laughs> Congratulations, honey. Thank I love you. you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. The second recipient is not only like a daughter to me, she actually is my daughter. Um, we'll see if we can get through this without getting choked up. Um, I really thought we would be doing this in the auditorium. I'm so proud of her. She also received magna cum laude excellence today and is also a member of the National Honor Society. She was also a fall captain. And the second recipient is Jennifer Asselin. <laughs> Congratulations, girls. I love you both. I cannot wait to see what you do and what the future holds for you. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, you. class of 2021. Hey, everyone. This is Bob Boudreau, and I am the president of Tuxbury Girls Basketball League. First, I would like to offer congratulations to all graduating seniors from Tuxbury High School. I would also like to take a minute to thank the entire staff and teachers of Tuxbury Public Schools, as well as the Tuxbury School Committee for all of their hard work and efforts over the past year and a half. Each year, TGBL awards several scholarships to girls that have participated in TGBL, and they and their families have given back to TGBL by volunteering their time and energy to help us provide a fun and educational environment for Tuxbury girls to participate in and learn the game of basketball. The Board of Directors is very proud to be able to continue this tradition this year, despite the unique circumstances of 2020 and 21, and award scholarships to the following individuals. Megan Boudreau, 
Mary Kay Callanan, Alex Fowler, Michelle Hinkle, Erin McIntyre, and Lexi Palomino. Congratulations to all, and on behalf of the TGBL Board of Directors, we wish the entire class of 2021 all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2021. It's my honor to be representing Tewksbury Youth Baseball and their board of directors in presenting seven scholarships to graduating seniors from TMHS. Tonight, we will be awarding two scholarships in the name of Michael T. Green. Michael was a passionate and dedicated coach and mentor to kids both on and off the field. For him, coaching was, wasn't about winning championships. Rather, it was about positive reinforcement and building confidence in all of the players on his team, regardless of ability level. Today, the Green family, in coordination with Tuxbury Youth Baseball, will be awarding two scholarships to two young men that they believe their dad would have loved to have coached. Their passion for the game their love of learning and hard work and determination have gotten them to this point in their life today. The Green family would like to honor Ryan Hughes and Brady Egan with $1,000 scholarships each and wish them the best of luck. Congratulations, Ryan and Brady. Tewksbury Youth Baseball would like to next recognize and award our annual Edward Sullivan Memorial Scholarship. Ed was a former vice president and coach that was extremely active both in Tewksbury Youth Baseball and in the town of Tewksbury. It is with great pride that we award the 2021 Edward Sullivan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Michael Duggan. Congratulations, Michael. And finally, we would like to award four additional scholarships that are, giving out, that are given out on behalf of Tewksbury Youth Baseball, our Tewksbury Youth Baseball Scholarship Awards to Will McKay, Ryan Rometta, Mahir Bagul, and Sean Fahey. Congratulations to you all. We want to thank you all for your additional time and effort that you put forth in not only participating in our program, but more importantly, in giving back to it as well. Congratulations to you all and best of luck to you. My name is Steve Tapama, and I'm the president of Two Straight Boys Basketball. And I'm honored to present this year's 2021 scholarship winners. Before we get to the winners, I want to first thank all the teachers, administrators, students for not only enduring an unprecedented time in our, our history, but a school year as well. Everyone has made sacrifices and dealt with various levels of loss. So hopefully we're on the side of this and better days ahead. I do think that over these last 15 months, we have demonstrated resiliency of our society, our community, in the course of this graduating class of 2021. If there's any silver lining in all of this, I believe these students will be even stronger and more prepared for the challenges ahead as they prepare for the next phases of their lives. Finally, I wanna thank all the applicants who took the time to submit their applications and go through the process to be considered by our scholarship committee and ultimately our board. The candidate pool was extremely strong this year and made the selections of the winners a very difficult process. But with that, I'd like to announce the winners of this year's Tewksbury Memorial High School TBBL scholarships. First, our first 
Tuxbury Boys Basketball League scholarship goes to Joseph Pezria. Congratulations, Joseph. Our second scholarship winner for $500 goes to Sean Fahey. Congratulations, Sean. Our third scholarship in the amount of $600 goes to Brady Egan. Congratulations, Brady. And our final scholarship is our $1,200 Edward Sullivan Memorial Scholarship. And this year's winner of that is Cole Duffett. In closing, on behalf of the Tuxedo Boys Basketball, the Board of Directors, the Scholarship Committee, we want to say congratulations to this year's scholarship winners and good luck to the graduating class of 2021. Thank you. Hi, my name is David Hart. It is my pleasure to present the North Street School Alumni Scholarship to Olivia Paulding. Congratulations, Olivia. Hello, everyone. I would first like to congratulate all of our recipients tonight. On behalf of the TMHS baseball program and the Redmen Baseball Boosters, I would like to recognize eight deserving young men who have been with our program for four years, and they will be receiving the Redmen Baseball Booster Scholarship. Those players are Michael Duggan, Adam Favreau, Kyle McHugh, Will McKay, James Ministeri, Will O'Keefe, Ryan Rometta, and Drew Timmons. Thank you, and we wish you all nothing but the best of luck. The recipient of the Schlott Tire Scholarship is awarded to Shane O'Neill. Congratulations to the class of 2021. This year, I will be awarding two scholarships in memory of my son, Danny Gillette. My first recipient is actually named after my son, Danny. I will be awarding $2,000 to Danny Lightfoot. My second recipient I had in sixth grade in math class, and I will be awarding Vanessa Flynn $2,000. I wish both Vanessa and Danny Good luck in college. Good evening. My name is Steve Goudreau, and I'm here tonight on behalf of the Tuxbury Boys Basketball Program. First, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2021 and all the scholarship winners tonight. This has been an unprecedented year, and I admire your perseverance and grit. This year, the boys basketball program will be giving out six scholarships to the following student athletes. Michael Cronin, Brady Egan, Mikey Kelly, Kalu Ryan Rometta, and Dom Valway. I'm lucky to have coached all six of these student athletes, uh, and I thank them for making our program better every single day. I wish you all nothing but the best, uh, and don't forget to always rep the T. Good evening, my name is Kendon Daniel. I'm one of the school counselors here at TMHS. Um, I'm here to announce the Redmond Softball Boosters Scholarship. Um, there are three recipients this year. They are Ashley Giordano, uh, Brianna Iandoli, and Paige Talbot. Congratulations. On behalf of the Tuxbury Recycling Committee and the Republic Service of Tingsboro, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Jamie Burns, the recipient of this year's $750 Recycling Committee Scholarship. 
Congratulations, Jamie. Hello. It is with great pleasure I present the John W. Wynn PAC Scholarship to Michelle Hinkle and Alyssa Marshalletta. Congratulations. On behalf of the Tuxbury Youth Lacrosse League's Board of Directors, I want to congratulate the class of 2021. This year's senior class had so many athletes that not only excelled in the field of play, but also gave back to the program by serving as officials, coaching our teams, and helping with various clinics and other programs. We are honored to award scholarships to the following members of the class of 2021. Kyle DeRigo, Sean Fahey, Aaron McIntyre, Lexi Palomino, Alexis Raymond. Congratulations to these student athletes and to the entire class of 2021. The Brianna M. McCarthy Memorial Scholarship Fund will be awarded to the following Red Rangers girls varsity hockey players. Alexis Catherine Raymond, Madison Robillard, and Antoria Sweeney. Alexis will be attending Fitchburg State University, where she will be studying criminal justice and psychology. Madison will be attending Worcester State University, where she will be studying criminal justice. Antoria will be attending the University of Maine, where she will be studying sociology or criminal justice. Congratulations and best of luck at school. Hi. I am Michael Chapman from Tewksbury Youth Hockey. First, I'd like to congratulate all of the seniors from Tewksbury High School for excelling in such a strange and difficult year. You all should be very proud. On behalf of Tewksbury Youth Hockey, I am very happy to hand out scholarships to four very deserving student athletes. First, the Alfred Carpenito Scholarship is being awarded to Danny Kuzmo and John Beatrice. Both Danny and John played for the Tewksbury Redmond Boys Varsity Hockey Team. Danny and John will each be receiving a $1,000 scholarship. Second, the Jaime Doherty Scholarship is being awarded to Alexis Raymond of the Tewksbury Methuen Red Rangers Girls Varsity Hockey Team and Will O'Keefe from the Tewksbury Redmond Boys Varsity Hockey Team. Both Alexis and Will will, will be receiving a $1,000 scholarship. Of special note here is that the Jaime Doherty Scholarship is named after Will's grandfather. Will, your grandfather would be very proud of the great career you had as a Redman. Congrats to all four seniors and best of luck. Thank you. Hello again, uh, this is Steve Kasperzak again, and this time I am happy to present the award, uh, the scholarship, excuse me, for the PAL Wrestling Club. Uh, PAL Wrestling is a, is a really a youth organization that uh, runs and really supports all of our youth wrestling here in the town of Tewksbury. Um, and they really do a tremendous job. Uh, you know, there's a long list of names that, that help out with that. Most, most notably, uh, Al Donovan, John Voto, Mike Donovan. Uh, they, th those three guys really kind of step up and, and keep that thing rolling and are a large part um, of its success over the years. Uh, this year, uh, they're awarding a $500 scholarship to Danny Lightfoot. Uh, Danny is a kid that came up wrestling in that youth program. And as a wrestler here for us at the high school, volunteered uh, so many hours uh, after our practices to help coach those kids, the younger youth, uh, traveled with them to their tournaments. Um, he's got siblings that are coming up to that program as well. And, uh, you know, I can't say enough good things about Danny. He's really deserving of this award. And we appreciate uh, the PAL wrestling uh, for acknowledging that and honoring Danny with, with a scholarship that he without question deserved. And we know he's going to make us proud up at NYU, both on the mat, which we're excited to see him wrestle there and in the classroom. We're so excited to see what he's going to do, uh, the rest, uh, the rest of his life. He's got big things to look forward to. So Danny Lightfoot, congratulations. And thank you, pal wrestling.
When I first read the qualifications for the recipient that Patricia Whitehouse suggested for the scholarship, I just last week decided to establish in my dad's memory my eyes filled with tears. My dad, who passed away just a few weeks ago, would have been delighted to have met someone so young, someone who shared his devotion to kin and community. Now, as brought by friends and as a dancing cop by his admirers, my grandfather proudly served as a reserve officer with the Tewksbury Police Department for many years. That this young scholarship candidate seeks a career in criminal justice makes our decision that much easier. We decided to look no further than to Owen Rigo to be the first recipient of the Herbert A. Hadley Memorial Scholarship. We congratulate you, Owen, for all that you have accomplished and for all that you will accomplish in the years to come. We congratulate your parents as well, knowing as they already do, that you are indeed a fine example that your younger brother will continue to emulate. Good, Good luck. luck in college. Good evening. Welcome to the major athletic awards portion of our ceremony. Uh, our major awards will be given out tonight virtually and on June 10th at our sports bank, which will be live in person. We'll invite all the major award winners and they can pick up their plaques and have their moment on stage with the group photo. Congratulations to all our winners. Our first award will be the Teresa Terry Lightfoot Inspiration and Courage Award. Awarded to the senior athlete who has overcome physical or emotional adversity and competed with vigor, courage, and dignity without complaint. This year's winner is Daniel Lightfoot. Next award, our Teresa Terry Lightfoot Inspiration and Courage Award. Awarded to the senior athlete who has overcome physical or emotional adversity and competed with vigor, courage, and dignity without complaint. Aaron Sands. The Daniel, Daniel Gillette Determination Award. Awarded to the male athlete whose achievements and efforts in athletics exhibit perseverance and hard work unmatched by his peers. Kyle Dorigo. Next award, our Deborah Lee McPhail Memorial Determination Award. Awarded to the female athlete whose achievements and efforts in athletics exhibit perseverance and hard work unmatched by her peers. Ashley Giordano. Tewksbury Memorial High School Athletic Director's Choice. Awarded to the senior athlete who has demonstrated character, commitment, academic success, and leadership while displaying the most desired character characteristics of a Tewksbury Memorial High School student athlete. Michael Duggan. Tewksbury Memorial High School Athletic Director's Choice Award. Awarded to the senior athlete who has demonstrated character, commitment, academic success, and leadership while displaying the most, while displaying the most desired characteristics of a Tewksbury Memorial High School student athlete. Jamie Burns. Kevin Kelly Memorial Sportsmanship Award. Awarded to the male athlete who best represents the qualities of fair play in all aspects of athletics. Derek Monroe. We had co-winners in the Sportsmanship Award. Awarded to the male athlete who best represents the qualities of fair play in all aspects of athletics, Kalu Olu. Leo Doc Rocco Sportsmanship Award. Awarded to the female athlete who best represents the qualities of fair play in all aspects of athletics, Brenna Cassidy. Our next award, the Dennis McGadden Memorial Coaches Award. Awarded to the male athlete who represents the finest qualities of fair play, work ethic, perseverance, and athletic excellence, Will O'Keefe. We have two winners in the, in the Female Coaches Award. Megan McCarthy, Tewksbury Tough Coaches Award. Awarded to the female athlete who represents the finest qualities of fair play, work ethic, perseverance, and athletic excellence, Erin McIntyre. Mm -hmm. 
Megan McCarthy Tewksbury Tough Coaches Award, awarded to the female athlete who represents the finest qualities of fair play, work ethic, perseverance, and athletic excellence, Alexis Raymond. I'll now bring in our head football coach, Brian Aylward, to present the Bob Aylward Leadership Awards. Good evening. Uh, the Bob Aylward Athletic Leadership Award, uh, one awarded to a female and male athlete in the senior class, awarded to the senior athlete who has exhibited outstanding leadership qualities, supported by athletic achievement in her sports. This year's winner is Michelle Hinkle. Congratulations, Michelle. The next Bob Aylward Athletic Leadership Award awarded to the senior athlete who has exhibited outstanding leadership qualities supported by athletic achievement in his sports. This year's winner is Will McKay. Congratulations, Will. We'll now bring on Mr. Bernard to give the Scholar Athlete Awards. Thank you, Mr. Aylward. It's my honor now to present the Scholar Athlete Awards to two deserving seniors, but before I do so, I'd like to extend my congratulations to all of this evening's award winners. The first award I'm presenting this evening is the Lawrence McGowan Memorial Scholar Athlete Award. It's awarded to the male athlete who combines athletic excellence and accomplishment with superior academic achievement. The award winner is Nabil Bakala. Congratulations, Nabil. The Female Scholar Athlete Award is going to be awarded to the female athlete who best combines athletic excellence and accomplishment with superior academic achievement. This award is offered in the memory of William DiGregorio and is presented this year to Alexis Palomino. Congratulations, Alexis. Thank you, and it's my pleasure to reintroduce to you all Mr. Druin. Great job by Coach Aylwood and, and our principal, John Bernard. Um, Excellent job giving out those awards. Our last two awards this evening are outstanding athletes. Um, I'll start with the male, male athlete. Charles E. Hazel, Outstanding Athlete Award. Awarded to the male athlete whose accomplishments during his high school career represent the finest qualities of athletic excellence. This year's winner, Ryan Rometta. Congratulations, Ryan. Outstanding Female Athlete Award. Awarded to the female athlete whose accomplishments during her high school career represents the finest qualities of athletic excellence, Michaela Page. Congratulations, Michaela. Congratulations to our senior class. It's been a pleasure to watch you guys for four years, follow your, your successes. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, fun ride with you guys. Our senior award, our major award winners will be invited to our banquet on June 10th, which will be live, uh, parents invited, here and you guys will receive those plaques uh, on that night. Uh, best of luck in the future. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Uh, success is gonna come your way. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight. Go Redmond. Good evening. As principal at Tewksbury Memorial High School, I am very honored to congratulate all of the students who were presented awards this evening or scholarships to help further their education. I'm proud of all of you and I offer my sincerest congratulations. And to all of the donors or presenters of awards, I want to thank you. I thank you for your generosity. I thank you for taking the time to spend with our students and congratulate them on their work here at Tewksbury Memorial High School. We have a rich tradition here at our school for academic excellence, service to community, athletic accomplishments, and kindness to others. And I'm proud to be a part of this exciting program this evening. And I want to thank all of you for taking part once again, to our students, congratulations. I wish you all the best. Thank you.